blue. I'm Angel. And this is Healthful Choices. I am on a mission to lose 80 pounds. And today I'm giving you a weekly update. There are four things that I want to talk about today. The first one is Antarctica. <laughs> I don't know if I've told you guys this, but I applied for like eight jobs across the three different US bases. I have received five rejections, one email saying that I've gone forward to the next round and two of the positions I haven't heard anything about. So anything could happen. <laughs> Update number two is about 50. The Humane Society of Greater Dayton had space and accepted her into their adoption program. It was difficult to let her go. I think that this is her best chance at finding a really nice forever home. They have already performed her surgery so that she's now fit and she is at an everyday adoption center in a pretty swanky part of town. So. <laughs> Her prospects of going to a wealthy family are really high <laughs> and I'm happy for her. They did change her name. Her new name is Lydia. I think that's a pretty awesome name. <laughs> a friend of mine said, oh, like Aunt Lydia from The Handmaid's Tale. And I was like, oh, you're probably right. I was totally thinking of Lydia from Beetlejuice. <laughs> so either way, I think it's a great name. And um, I'll let you know when I find out that she's been adopted. Number three, this week's weigh-in. I'm really happy with this week's results. I think it reflects that transition I made from the milk chocolate to the sugar-free hot apple cider and plain hot water. And I don't really miss the hot chocolate. I mean, this weekend was beautiful here. It was so amazing. Anyway, yes results. That's what we're after. So this week is Thanksgiving. It's on Thursday. I know that that can be a challenging time for people. I think I'm going to stick with the plan that I had last year, which is to just sort of taper back a little bit on my calories leading up to Thanksgiving and then to just have Thanksgiving as a meal. It's just the spousal you and I again this year. <laughs> And we do a pretty good job of cooking just enough for the two of us for that one meal and then maybe a little bit of leftovers for him to have for lunch the next day. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. I shouldn't have too many temptations to overindulge the day of or in the days following. I also have to work Thanksgiving, so there's that. <laughs> What are you most looking forward to about Thanksgiving? Leave a comment down below. I really want to know. One of the things that I'm most looking forward to about Thanksgiving is my Turkey Trot 5K. I have a medal. I haven't even opened the package yet to see what it looks like, but I'm excited to do the Turkey Trot and then to come home and open my medal on Thanksgiving. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that more than the turkey and the pie and the dressing, but those things are good too. And this will help me keep my steps up for the week. Yeah, the steps challenge. The blue team is totally crushing it. I am very, very happy to be the team captain and all of the participants on my team are linked in the description box below. So be sure to check them out and see what they're doing because they are upping their steps week over week. And it's amazing to see each one of us challenging ourselves just a little bit more every single week. I could not be more proud to be a part of the blue team, let alone to be the team captain. I want to say thank you to Derek for providing me with this amazing opportunity. I hope that everybody has a wonderful, happy, festive Thanksgiving. I hope that you are having a great day and that you'll have a successful week going forward. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.